In this video, I want to answer a question we had a while ago. I made a video on the Nocturne by Chopin 48 number 2. It sounds like this. Etc. It's a fantastic piece to play and a lot of people watched the video. A lot of people were enthusiastic about playing this piece. But I had a question regarding the two against three. In this piece, there is a lot of this going on. Two against three, eight notes against um, eight notes against triplets. And so a lot of you out there find obviously that difficult. And I can imagine why. It's an irregular kind of rhythm. And I had a question because at that time I talked about the musical aspects of this piece, how I think about it, how I phrase, which is also extremely interesting. But of course, the technical aspects are not to underestimate. And so the question was that I dive a little bit deeper into explaining how to fix um, two against three, how to practice two against three in order for you to be able to do it um, evenly. Because the danger is that it sounds um, not even enough. And so let's get straight into the video and I will do my best to give you a few tips that are really practical and that are really going to help you. Now let's jump immediately into bar four. Even if I explain one bar, I basically explain the piece. You can apply everything after that to the, everything we talk about. You can apply it later into the other bars. The first thing I would do when I practice this piece is to get evenly with metronome, right and left and separate. I'll demonstrate. So the tempo can be, I think, around 45. Because you don't want to do it too fast, you can of course adjust your tempo to make sure that you're really even with the right and left hand, because you need to teach your brain that, you need to teach how to listen to the piece. That's the first thing. So repeat it several times so you can really be even. Then the triplets you need to get even as well. You can again switch to the right hand. And then the triplets. The switching back and forth between the right and left hand is good because you trigger your brain to think differently right away, first in eight notes and then in triplets. Second step, try to get right and left hand together with the metronome by playing only the, only the main notes of the left hand, which would be in the first beat B, then the G sharp, then the C sharp, and then the B. I'll demonstrate. So you skip the rest of the notes. You just play be um, beat number one, two, three, and four, the main notes of the left hand, with everything in the right hand. Look how you do that. Again. You're basically teaching yourself how you are going to move in an even pace, right and left hand simultaneously. Yes, you're skipping the left hand, but that's not important right now. And now we are coming to the most important exercise you can do. The other exercises I just mentioned are very good. They're going to prepare you for everything and they're not to underestimate, but this exercise is crucial. You need to understand one rhythm. And the rhythm goes like this. That's, that's basically how it's going to sound when you play two against three. Listen. So together is the first stop. Then we have left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Or ta, 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 ta. The extra ta I just added was the next beat. So ta 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 ta. This is what you need to practice with all the eight notes against triplets, because if you stick to this rhythm, 
it's going to be absolutely even how you play two against three. Da, 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 da. Then the next one. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Now without my annoying ta, da, da. That's an exercise you want to master. Not only that, but it would be very useful if you also can speed it up. And now the last exercise, which right now is not a must, but I'm going to give it to you because a lot of you like to get ahead as much as possible. Now, perhaps you might need supervision. I have no idea what your skills are, but it's wonderful if you're able to do that with metronome. So look, you already got the hang of ta, 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 ta. Now it's time to start timing that with the metronome if you want to make sure that you're 100% correct. So you get ta, 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 Again, ta, 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 What perhaps might be helpful is to think that your every second note of the of the right hand is coming with the third ta of this particular rhythm. So that means if I say it without ta ta ta, but one two three four, you will get this if I play the right hand. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. Again. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. Now, that might seem complicated. If you have any further questions, of course, don't hesitate to ask me if something is unclear about this exercise. But this, that, that's why first you have to do it without the metronome, then add the metronome and try to see, can you maintain the ta, 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 which means every second note of the right hand is going to align with the third ta. So you get ta, 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 ta. That's basically what has to happen. I know for a fact that these exercises are wonderful and they work very well. You just need to be as patient as possible and as precise as possible. Once you get the feeling and the hang of two against three, you are not going to have any more problems. Anyway, I really hope, no, I really know that this is going to help you. But of course, with everything you need times, but don't hesitate and don't be ashamed to ask more questions if something is not clear, if something doesn't work. And the more precise you are when asking a question, the more precise I can make the answer according to your question so it can be as helpful as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video and being here for me as always. It was a great pleasure recording the video for you. If you enjoy our videos, feel free and join our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to, to have you on board. And as always, again, pleasure and see you next week again.